and all of a sudden your party is telling you that the real concern is people who aren't even here legally, foreign nationals from other countries, do you ask yourself at some point, but you know, but what about me, the American citizen? Right. Does that turn off voters at a certain point? It's not only turning them off that the that this hijacking of the civil rights movement is taking place uh, for legal minorities, but illegals are even more frustrating because now you're looking at an environment to where you have that low-wage worker competing for jobs in communities and against people who will not speak English. So now it's not only affecting the, the real low-wage, it's affecting the middle class because if you want to work in any type of public service for the fire, for the police, for the, for the uh, teachers, anything, you have to be bilingual and this is making a tremendous impact on African Americans to rethink uh, who these new arrivals are and why they I think it's a totally fair question. I never even thought about the bilingual question, but it's a real one. Oh, it's one. horrible. It's like you can't even, uh, in California, for instance, you can take the driver's license test in 40 languages. But so why, I never hear Maxine Waters or any member of the CBC mention that. Why? Because they're very invested in progressivism. It's their job to make sure blacks do not get any of this information. They're, they're, the whole Congressional Black Caucus is similar to the overseer during slavery. They had to make sure that no slave gets any information of freedom. And that's been their role for the last 50 years. What's happening now with the Internet is people are getting more information. In fact, even my organization, Urban Cure, we have our own news site, blackcommunitynews.com. So people are getting other sources of news and they're finding out the truth. What President Trump has said lately, about fake news is very real. So there are many instruments now competing against that, to, to, the, the mainstream media, so that we can get other information and blacks are hearing those messages. Star Parker, thank you for joining us. You're welcome. Am I the reason you get stoned every week now? Build up integrity, got you texting, emailing me, wanting me to feel with you, baby. Just face reality, move on. Sometimes it's hard to face reality.